All right, are we ready to start? We're ready to start. I just want you to know that I'm not... Are these emotional episodes? Um, there's dogs that get hurt. Oh, well, that's good. Because I have something in my eye and I'm crying. Okay. So I will be... My eye will be crying through the whole episode. <laughs> Is this two-parter Whole Horses Redemption arc? Sadly, no. I'm still waiting for that. It better be well, all of season five. We might just have to write our own fan fiction. <laughs> I can almost feel it. It's like Dio's right on top of us. We should get moving. We'll talk to everyone here until we find him. I thought they were in a helicopter or something. Just they're for... already in Cairo. Well, yeah, I guess, but yeah. Cairo can have helicopters. They could fly around, look for the building. Well, yeah, but a big helicopter with speed wagon written on the side would probably alert Dio to where they are. Ah, uh, Dio already knows. Ah, you must be a beggar from a foreign land. I know this isn't much, but I hope it helps. Thanks, but... How dare you! Back off, pal! This is my turf, you poofy-haired blockhead! Huh? What's that supposed to... Hey, hold her up! He is kind of a poofy-haired blockhead. It's more a rectangle head. I guess. It's imperative that we find this building as quickly as possible. We're running out of time. I've done enough work for one day. You gents have my word that I'll find the mansion in three hours. Just sit tight. Mm -hmm. This perpetuates the stereotype that beggars are all crooks. Yeah. I don't believe that's the case. He has a nice suit, though. He has a nice car. Um, at some point, is Kakuin going to be in this show again? Yeah. In this episode? We'll keep watching. I guess I will. I put up with a lot. I'm tired of putting up with the new cooking. Iggy. hurt dogs. I don't care if you're Dio. I don't care who you hurt. You don't hurt a dog. Yeah. Unless he's a trained dog like Iggy. Because Iggy is a fighter dog who has yeah. a stand. So Iggy can fight back. So Iggy can fight back. But just two dumb bulldogs in the street. You don't cut off their heads. I like that he wears a helmet. Yeah. When I was a kid, there was a line of robots, or a line of toys, that were just dinosaurs who wore armor. I can't remember what they were called, but, um, but I had a Triceratops who had a helmet. Nice. And this bird reminds me of them. A sight. Even if I were to throw down with Tweety over there, what would I get in return? There's no way I'm putting my life on the line. Time to bring out that old dumb dog routine. That bird brain will never suspect. Also, I'd like to point out, dogs can't sweat. That's why they <laughs> stick their tongue out and pant. It's because that's the way that their body calms down. So the fact that Iggy sweats must be part of his stand, I assume. Yeah. Crazy bastard. But it seems like the freaks lost interest in me for now. I don't like that Iggy has a person voice. So far we've just seen him be a dog. But now he's a person and he swears all the time. But he has a Boston accent. 
I guess. And he's a post and Terry. I like it. Oh no! That collar looks like... I was right, it's Tiny's! I don't understand, why is it under this gate? And why is there blood on it? My grandpa had a dog named Tiny. It wasn't a big dog, it was a small dog. Just like... Just like Iggy? Just like Iggy. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up. If some human kid bites a big one, it's not my problem. Survival of the fittest, as they say. The stupid die first, as do people who act recklessly. I'd rather stay out of this, so... Goodbye, kid. Oh, Iggy. Good grief. I have a soft spot for kid dog lovers. Lucky for him. <laughs> if this is if this whole series is going to be a fight between Iggy and Horace, then I'm all in on the, this two-parter. I don't want the other guys to show up at all. I want this to be Iggy and Horace. The bird's name is actually Pet Shop, by the way. Oh, Pet Shop. As in the Pet Shop Boys? Yeah. We've been looking around this godforsaken city for three days with no luck. I highly doubt some beggar will find the mansion in three hours. You're starting to sound like a broken record, Polnareff. F. You could at least try to keep a level head. Listen up. We're all on No, Polner F. Couldn't try to keep a level head. Well, he can try, but most of the time it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, it's not in his nature. <laughs> we have to keep quiet and hide out down here until he gives up. <laughs> what is this freaky bird deal? What is this freaky bird deal? He's guarding Dio's mansion. Apparently. The evil Dio bird. That's cool. What? No, it's my ball! I can't bring my ball loose! Oh no, what will happen to the puppy dog? Yeah. So it is a battle between Iggy and Horace. I like that. Yeah. This is quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have any other thoughts? Um, Horace is a little OP. Um, I like him. Yeah. Uh, I like that they're animals with stands. I don't know... If you were Dio and you were collecting stand users and promising them things to get them to be on your side, what would you promise to a stand using hawk? Well, it gets to like eat anyone that crawls over their side. Yeah, so. but they could do that anyway. I mean, look <laughs> at him. So is he just in it for the thrill? Maybe. I'm curious as to his Dio's motivation. power of charisma. Oh, yeah, I forgot about his power of charisma. <sighs> yeah. Um, Dio. Maybe, maybe uh, Dio's going to turn... What's his name again? Pet Shop? Pet Shop. Into a vampire bird, and he'll live forever. Well, yeah, but then he can't go out in the sun and guard the mansion. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So he can't look for, he can't be an immortal bird. I guess he's just a thrill-seeking bird. Just... But who isn't? Yep. <laughs> Joke's on you, pet shop. Did 
Did Iggy gnaw off his own leg? Looks like And it. now he's a little dog named Tripod. <laughs> Looks like it. Apparently so. One of my favorite YouTubers, this is, I'm just going to talk because it's just the opening credits, is Simone Yatch. Do you ever watch Simone? I don't think I've heard of Simone. She's awesome. She is a builder of things and she makes awesome stuff. Uh, and she just got a little three legged dog. <laughs> and I can't remember what the dog's name is. It's named Scraps or something like that. So we got a cute little three legged dog name. But she made a, a machine that looks like an outline of a person and if you put a quarter in it it will reach out its arm and pat you on the shoulder and say I'm proud of you son <laughs> I like it yeah so everyone in the show notes go watch Simone Yatch subscribe. she's Swedish so it's spelled G-I-E-R-T-Z but it's pronounced Yatch I think I'm gonna hide out here for a while. If I'm down here long enough, maybe Bird Brain will go away. After this is over, the Speedwagon Foundation can make me an artificial leg. But I'm still pissed as hell. Damn that bird. You're not getting away with this. I'm gonna make you suffer for what you did to me. Just you. I want him to float down the Nile River. Something out there to the water. And. And. Oh, the bird. Have the capacity to dive underwater. Like humans and canines. What do you want Nikki to do under in the Nile? I want him to be in the next Moses going down the Nile <laughs> in a little boat of reeds <laughs> and then picked up by the Pharaoh's daughter and then he becomes Moses and then he frees the Jews. That's all that I want. Now is when they should attack the castle, the palace, because the bird is obviously very distracted. Suck on that, you freaking coat! Take that! Give me a break! This group of day has gone from bad to horrifying in the worst possible way! First I lose my leg, and now some demon bird wants me flattened into a frozen dinner! Ah! Damn, I can't hold it off anymore! I'm about to be crushed! I need to dig myself out of here now! And he only has one paw! How did he Three. bandage his other paw? Where did he get the bandage? Does he have a first aid kit? Tucked away in his little ruffles fur. Maybe the fool has one. How did the bird get underground? And use the air pressure to catapult me forward like a spinning bullet! <laughs> Broke his jaw! But it looks like this will probably be the end for me. I've been bleeding out for a while now. I hardly have enough strength in my body to keep myself afloat, let alone make it back to shore, which means I'm gonna drown. Why is this happening? I was supposed to live a trouble-free life. Damn it! I messed up. 
I don't want Iggy to die. And if this is a story of how Iggy dies, I'll be very upset. And you're giving me a frowny face, which is not reassuring me that Iggy doesn't die. Thank goodness I found you! As soon as I saw that little face and those great big ears, I knew it was you! It's that stupid bird's fault that you're like this. It attacked you just like my dogs. You're gonna pull through this. The bird's gone, so there's nothing to worry about. Try and hang on, all right? Keep fighting. I'll patch you up right away. The bird! Headshot stand Horace! Status deceased. Status deceased. Jojo and Iggy lives thanks to a boy who can dive deep in the middle of the Nile. Iggy did have a run-in with the enemy. When we found him, he was half dead in the arms of a boy. So the Speedwagon Foundation doctor saw to his wounds. Is this Cockyween? Has he returned? But he's different. He's changed. He's Kakuin the White. Kakuin vowed to remain resolute. Kakuin now looks a lot like Cyclops. A little, yeah. So can he shoot lasers out of his eyes? He can. It's All part right. of his stand now. It's part of they fixed up his eyes and gave him laser eyes. Yep. If we try to enter the mansion, guns blazing, no doubt we'll be playing right into the enemy's hands. Before we do anything. We need to think of a strategy. I have an idea. Let's split up and fight everyone one on one. Hey! Something's coming this way! Wait, is that guy floating? Is he a stand user or what? Master Joestar, welcome to our abode. We've been expecting you, sir. I am the resident butler of the mansion. Da 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 da. Excitement. Thrills. So I'm glad that he didn't die. Yeah. And I'm glad that uh, they're all back together. Kakuin's with us. And Kakuin is with us. And so far they haven't decided to split up, but I'm sure that's going to happen. <laughs> um, well, we've only got a few more episodes left, so. Do we? I thought we had like 48 episodes. Well, we cut out about five of them. Oh, right that's now we're true. down to... I think we have eight more episodes, which is three stand battles. No, wait, nine episodes, I think. Nine episodes. All right. Excitement. I'm excited. I'm ready for, for fighting. Any other thoughts on this episode? They're so stupid. <laughs> A guy comes floating to them down the hallway of a never-ending passageway of a palace that we know Dio lives in. And they're like, what? Is this a stand user? What? <laughs> of course it's a stand well, it user. Polnareff. It is Polnareff, and Polnareff is kind of a moron. <laughs> I want to poll in the comments. How many people think Polnareff is a moron? So start that in the commentary. All right. <laughs> All right. Shall we do some Patreons? We shall do some Patreons. Hmm. All right. We have got ourselves Ammon Allen, Bagner T, Blazing Opus, Cartoon King 13, Christian and Gwen, Cristobal, Urube. Is that a new one? I think it might be a new one. Dr. Bingus. Ebony Like the Wood. Elizabeth 
De oh. The ones with longer names, I have to click on them. Elizabeth La Durante. Eric Isidoria. Honcho Hammerhose. Insane Tofu. Jameson Bowling. Kalud Adabar. Louis Paul Letart. Michael Richards. Mr. Someone. Pizza Time. Tom Beveridge. Wild Frito. And Willow Chaffee. All fantastic people who are wonderful and excellent and uh thanks for being patrons yep and we'll see you guys in the next episode of jojo jojo